All right, let's head over to meteorologist Ashley Carter. Speaking of the holiday traffic, that holiday weather is on everybody's mind. Yeah, and we're already going to start to see some of that rain picking up as early as this evening. So really just not going to be a good idea if you're going to be out and about late tonight into early tomorrow. As you can probably tell, one day away from Thanksgiving, a little over a month until we get to Christmas. But as we take a look at the seven day forecast, it's going to be a little bit of a busy turkey day for us here in Central Texas and especially the Brazos Valley. As we have showers as well as a couple of thunderstorms on deck again really beginning later this evening into early tomorrow morning as we roll into your Black Friday and Saturday slight rain chances for both those days but then take a sneak peek at what we're looking at as we get into the end of November sunshine and highs in the upper 60s to the low even the upper 70s for that last day for one of those last days of November so big changes on on the way. As for this morning, however, a couple of light sprinkles as you head out the door this morning. 52 degrees right now in Waco and Marlin. A 54 degree start to your day in Hearn and College Station. 49 in Lamb Passes. So I would say if you're hitting the road early this morning, travel cast going to give you two thumbs up. We do have those light sprinkles for some of us, though. Mostly we're just see those cloudy skies and highs today going to be in those upper 50s to the low 60s. Something else I've also been tracking if you're heading out to some of those bigger cities and no flight delays as of this morning and we really shouldn't even see anything weather delay wise if you are heading out to those airports. It is a little bit chilly in some of these areas, depending on where you're traveling to 30s to 40s in Chicago as well as New York. Now again, for most of us here, it's going to be dry temperatures upper 50s to the low 60s, but it's once we get past sunset, things start to already get a little bit active. So let's track it here for you hour by hour. Just some scattered showers by the time we get into this evening into tonight, but then we're going to start to see the widespread rain late tonight into those early Thursday morning hours. Some of you guys may get woken up by a rumble of thunder or two early on your Thanksgiving. And as we roll into six o'clock, you see most of that rain is going to be in areas east of I-35 as well as the Brazos Valley with our western zone still seeing the cloudy picture, but getting a little bit of a break from those showers. As we head into nine, we're going to start to see some things clearing up, though it won't be completely dry for all of us throughout the rest of your day on your Thanksgiving. By the time we get into one o'clock, just some light showers. But then as we roll into your Thursday evening, we're going to start to see that at Activity pick back up and a couple of thunderstorms are going to be possible again in these areas east of I-35 and in the Brazos Valley, as well as these are the spots where we could see the heavier rainfall. Showers continue into your Friday, and this is all ahead of that next cold front we're going to be seeing move through on your Thanksgiving day. As far as severe weather goes, however, the thunderstorm threat is the main thing we're going to see for most of us here in Central Texas, though the Brazos Valley does have the marginal risk to see some of those stronger to severe storms. Now, as far as what threats we could get with some of those severe storms, hail as well as we can see some localized flooding because of the heavier rain. Otherwise should be good to go um, as far as the rest of your forecast. Again, it's going to forecast until Saturday.